Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It is, of course, Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you something super cool and amazing that I just came across to stylize your Google calendars. So, of course, if you'd like to get a Google calendar that looks like this one, then stay tuned. All right, so this really awesome calendar that I have on my latest Google Say template, which is Hello Teacher, is actually a Google Calendar that has been styled to look really cool. So, you know, I have, <laughs> I've got to say, I have been searching forever for a way to have Google Calendars look less like crap. Now, Google <laughs> does have um, their Google Calendar API. So with their new API, which I'm not going to try to explain right now because <laughs> there's YouTube videos about what, what an API is. Basically, it connects one thing to another. Put it that way, like Zapper. There, there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm not the best when it comes to API, so I don't even try to um, do any of that. Now, that being said, I was so close, so close to thinking about it because I really hated the way that the Google calendars look. Then I came across this Reddit post that was from like four years ago, but the with subreddits, you know, if someone posts or um, replies now, you're going to see it. So with it still being valid and up, um, I saw a reply from like two months ago about this program here, which was styled calendar. So this is a styled calendar. I'll leave a link down below. It's literally styledcalendar.com. And what it says is that you can embed your Google Calendar and kind of add, you know, some um, customization to it. You don't really have to do anything, you know, crazy for it to work. It's developer friendly. Um, you can try adding your own CSS for limitless control. Like there's a lot that you can do in it and it's compatible with any website. Now, you know, me working in Google Sites, I'm like, let me see. <laughs> I challenge accepted. Anything I can to make Google Sites look less like Google Sites, <laughs> then I'm all about it. So, I decided to give it a try. First, the setup was super easy. Um, I'm not even gonna go through it. I'm just gonna share that all you do is select get started in Boom, you can either log in with or create an account um, with your email. I just did sign up with Google. Once you sign up or sign in, you can add calendars. So right now I have two calendars that I have added. The first one is my Hello Teacher. So I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like. So here is the Hello Teacher. I am not using the um, pro or premium version that they offer here. I'm literally just using their regular version inside of the Google site. And I did set my break point, my break points, excuse me, in all of the information along the left hand panel here, um, to be able to style this calendar to go inside of my Google site. So looking inside the Google site, as it is right now. I'm gonna just select the um, phone icon because you know I'm all about that mobile friendly. And here we have it, scrolling dead center in the middle and you're able to scroll down. Now I will say this, I did use, um, hide the scroll bars along the side because I don't like them. And it's your choice, you don't have to, but I did. The scroll bars do let people know that um, a piece of information is scrollable. Uh, and you can style your scroll bar. I just decided not to. But I really like the way <laughs> that this works and the way it functions. So you see how it shows on a mobile device. And when you click on it, it's showing you um, the event for that day. And same for here and here. By the way, this took so long for me to create this little fake calendar <laughs> for a school. Um, just because I was like, what do, what, do, what do I have to put in there? So lots of research went into it. But anywho, as you see, this is how it works and how it functions. So it's a really cool um, piece of program. There is a typo <laughs> um, right here where title is. It is misspelled. 
luckily, I'm not a jerk. So I actually uh, did the chat with team and I sent them like an email that this is a typo. Um, and they said they would take care of it <laughs> once they do their uh, their next update. So just be, you know, be known about that. Now, there are other thing, other programs out there that do something similar. But this is definitely going to be the easiest for someone who has zero, zero, zero experience <laughs> when it comes to um, calendars or setting up what they look like. So I really enjoyed this um, um, styled calendar and it's free to use. You can pay for the, the pro or premium if I think it's premium. Um, which, if you wanted to see what the premium features would look like, here you go. Um, you'll get this little uh, lightning bolt right here, and that'll show you that it is a premium feature. So, yay! <laughs> this is really helpful, and I haven't found a video on this, this styled calendar ever. I think I'm like the first person to have a video on it, which makes me happy because, one, I like being the first to try stuff. Two, I like being the first to recommend stuff. And three, I don't like for companies to reach out to me for me to try stuff because they often feel obligated for you to give them a good review even when their stuff is trash. That's it. So I tried it, I like it, so I'm recommending it. <laughs> That's how my channel works. If I try it, I like it, I recommend it. So I do recommend this to you. I will say this, you do have to put in very specific information if you want it to um, resize correctly inside of your Google site. Um, you know, I would share it, but if I keep sharing everything, no, I'm kidding. Literally just set your breakpoint to 390. There you have it. That, that's the tip. <laughs> that, that's all you have to do. All right, so while this video was short, I do hope it was informative and let me know if you give Styled Calendar a try and how it works out inside of your Google Sites. And of course, thanks so much for watching and laters.